In this video, we're showcasing one of the largest template packs that we have for After Effects in Premiere Pro with over 1,000 templates. This is our Motion Designers Pack, which contains a handful of helpful templates for any of your project needs. I will always mention that we have a free pack for After Effects and Premiere Pro, so that link will be in the description below. And at any time during this video, you wanna take a look at the full Motion Designers pack, that link will also be in the description below. So for those of you looking to speed up your workflow, let's take a look at this pack and see what's possible. All right, first we'll take a look at the Motion Designers pack in After Effects, and then we'll take a look at it in Premiere Pro, but this is essentially the Motion Ducky panel with the Motion Designers pack right here inside of After Effects, which allows you to preview templates before you apply them, of course. Within this pack, we have over 70 full scenes for all different types of formats, so for example, we we have landscape 16 by 9 templates. And then we have those available for stories, portraits, and posts so you can fit any format that you're working on. And then we have a bunch of really useful motion graphics from titles, logo reveals, social media icons and lower thirds, really cool user interface icons, motion graphics that just say swipe up, 160 different animated icons, and then of course we have a handful of different background categories. And just for fun, we threw in a bunch of sound effects as well. And one of my favorite categories just here for After Effects is the motion elements folder, which contains transitions, motion presets, and really cool uh, effects. So quickly how this works, if we want to apply one of the 120 transitions in this pack, we can just hover over the transition, preview it, and click apply. So then the only thing you gotta make sure is the transitions line up to the cut of your edit and you'll have your transition applied. So I wanna take a look at some of the other really cool motion graphic templates here. So we can come here to our full scenes landscapes category and we can browse through different you know full screen motion graphic scenes like this but let's say i want to go ahead and apply this template all i need to do is click apply now we have this full motion graphic template applied to our timeline available for us to edit in any way that we need so one thing our templates have inside of after effects is the ability to con easily control the in and out animation so, so for example this is a two and a half second in animation but i can make this a one and a half second in animation by dragging over the in marker so now this will animate in so much faster and i can also control the out animation as well and drag in the out point so this will animate in pretty quick and then it'll stay up for however long we need it to be and animate out. But how do we update our template? Well, there's two ways we can do this. We can click on the customizer here inside of After Effects and here we have all of our colors and the ability to change text. So I can come here to the text, change it out and type in whatever I need it to say. Then I come here to the customize tab and I can easily change the colors. So perhaps I want this to be a blue color. Give me it's a nice dark blue or something and change the other color to maybe a lighter blue. And of course I can easily change the text colors as well. So maybe I want this to be completely white. So now our titles and colors are updated with the motion graphic. So let's say we want to build upon our sequence of motion graphics here. Well, we can go to the motion library and we can take a look at another title template here. So maybe we want to take a look at this template for our project. We just click on apply. So we have another title animation here. We can readjust the in and out points to fit our timing needs and everything will animate in and out as we need. So we can still use the customizer to edit this template, but let's take a look at another way that we can edit templates here in After Effects. We can double click on it and we have all the text layers here and a customizer that has those same color controls over here. So you have two ways to edit your template here in After Effects. So we can grab our text file tool and just change our title. And one reason why you would want to edit templates like this is just to slightly move over a title, for example, to fit perfectly. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's up to you how you wish to edit this. And just by default, these title templates will come with a background already on. So if I go ahead and turn it off, you'll see that it's transparent or I keep the background on, there's a background. But I'll come here and I'll change my colors to maybe a blue here. And I wanna use the same background color that I'm already using. So now if we check out the flow between these two templates, we'll have this beautiful transition between the two of them. So the last type of template we'll take a look at here in After Effects is a logo animation. We wanna wrap up our video with our brand logo. So we'll go ahead and click on apply. So convenient for me, my logo is already in there, but obviously you're not gonna use our Sunduck logo. So to change it out, all you do is double click on the template. You'll see a composition called replace your logo. You'll double click on that. And then you'll see that our logo is already in there. All you need to do is just delete it and drag in your own custom logo. And you'll see it automatically update in the full composition. And then the only thing you need to do is change your colors and titles. So just by using three of these 1000 plus templates, we're able to put together a full composition here relatively quick. These templates can assist you in many different ways here inside of After Effects. And of course, I still kept my logo here at the end. All right, so we have Premiere loaded up. Let's take a look at how the Motion Designers pack works right here. So for example, let's say we wanna take something that actually requires an image. So maybe we like this template, we wanna throw in a video or a photo. We just drag and drop it into our timeline. Uh, and now our template is applied. You know, as before, we can click on the customizer and we can edit the text and colors uh, as we see fits. But another way to edit the template, and you'll probably notice right here is we're missing an image. We need to go to the Essential Graphics tab. You go to Window, Essential Graphics, and we click on Edit. You'll have all the same abilities to edit the template 
uh, as you did in the customizer. But one feature we're looking for here is the ability to replace this image. So we'll see that there's an option for placeholder. What we can do is click on this hamburger icon or just three line icon and click on replace from finder or from explorer. So I'll come here to my collection of stock photos. And when I find the image I wanna use, I'll click on open and that will automatically import the photo or the video uh, into your template. You can easily resize the template with the scale options or reposition it. So as I drag the X position over, our photo will be moved over and fit perfectly. Also here in Premiere Pro, you have the ability to change the font options as well. And we do have a handful of templates that allow you to import your own videos or background images uh, with this pack. But one thing I want to mention here is our sound effects library that's available for After Effects as well. So we have a handful of sound effects and you can easily just preview them by hovering over it. And we have a handful of different categories as well. So when we want to play an audio effect, we'll just click and drag it into our timeline. So now here's our animation with the audio. So obviously you have just a cool collection of sound effects to work with uh, when editing here in Premiere Pro. So this was just a quick demo here for Premiere Pro because you know this works pretty much the same as it did in After Effects. But on our page, we have an additional Premiere Pro and After Effects tutorial on there as well. So if you want to take a look further on how these work, uh, be sure to check our links in the description below. Remember, you can check out the full Motion Designers pack for After Effects in Premiere Pro with the links in the video description below. You can also download our free 100 duck pack for Premiere and After Effects and give that a go. And always, be creating.